Graders? More like grader of customers who can go screw themselves. Everything was obviously not so great. I met that mother of the other Caillou from Peter Piper Pizza. Then there was that chubby spade guy who tried to get sweets. He even whined like that other kid from Starbucks. He should know that he shouldn't have sugar. Then the sugar high squirrel was acting as if he wanted to make out with the candy and sweets. And for some reason he was staring at me funny. I have no idea why. But that's all. So, I'm about to get fired 60 times in a row. So this is the 59th time I've gotten fired. Where should I work next? I know. I'll get a job at Ikea. Welcome to Ikea. How may I help you? I want to buy some tools like drills and some circuits to apply some modifications to my blaster and my suit with the claw fingers on my gloves. What? No. If you're going to use your blaster and clawed gloves for anything, keep them as they are right now. I don't need you blasting or slicing people's heads off with those. Okay, I've used my blaster and gloves many times. I know how to be careful at times with them. Especially in my career as both a space captain and Smash Brothers fighter. I don't care. Use these tools I'm giving to you. Drill a hole in your ear, stick a screwdriver up your ass, hit your head with an axe, and use pliers to pinch your fingers. What the hell? No. There's no way I'm doing that. Pinching my fingers with pliers will damage them. Then they will have to get amputated. As for the others, they will kill me. Come on. I dare you to do it. Once again, no. Now stop before I shoot you with my blaster. Threats aren't going to do anything. You are dumber than I thought. How dare you call me that. But speaking of blasters, a fox I met when I used to have a very old job at McDonald's had a similar threat. Oh my god. You're the one who was rude to Fox. You know what? If I ever see you again, I'm calling certain team members of mine to help me teach you a lesson. Whatever, just get out of here before I make you drink bleach you stupid mutt. You did not just call me that. You better stop it right now. Don't make me do it. Welcome to IKEA. How may I help you? I want to buy a new desktop since my parents decided I get my own one after the old one has been given to them. Excuse me, but what's exactly wrong if you share a desktop? You're just wasting money if you're going to share one desktop. Why not buy each of your family members one each? Okay, I kind of expected you to say that, but here's why. When I get home from school, I like to do stuff on the desktop like using my laptop or writing an important essay. But when I get home, my parents are usually on the desktop with another of their computers doing their work. Because of this, I hardly get to use it. That's why I'm getting my own. That way, it will become easier since my parents will now use that one. Besides, I don't have enough money to buy all my family members each a desktop and it's slightly bigger. Dude, how do you not have enough money to get each of your family a desktop? There's a deal today where they are half price off, so you can get them. Because that means I would be getting more than one desktop. For the desktop I specifically want, it's not for sale but it's just one piece. That means I won't be spending as much. No difference. Just get each of your family members each a desktop. It's very simple. Once again, I said I do not have that much money to buy more than one desktop. So quit forcing me to get them. Fine. Be that way. Get out of here now. You're the worst employee I ever met. Welcome to IKEA. How may I? Oh my god. Not you four. You're the fresh beat band that has caused me trouble. Especially you, Twist. Oh no guys. It looks like we ran into the infamous Levi Ackerman. Levi Ackerman. I'm still mad at you at the time you attempted to unenchant one champ. Oh come on. That was back in January 2017. How are you not over that right now? Well, of course, I won't get over something as stupid like that as fast. I want to ask you this. Why do you have a job, and what makes you think you'll do good if you're never nice to anyone? 
The reason why I have a job is because I'm trying to get money to buy Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch. And I know I'll get the money I need for the game. We doubt you'll get any money. Because of how you were in the past, there is a chance you were rude to the customers. Oh no worries. I've been there and done that in tons of jobs I got. And it still continues right now. Oh, so you admit you were rude to customers before? Wow. Not like we're surprised. And what do you mean by tons of jobs? How many have you gotten? So far I've gotten 59 jobs. Some of them are not even food or store related places. But yeah, 59 jobs. But if you count this one right now, 60 altogether. What? Are you really that relentless? I thought you would have changed after that many jobs, but I guess not. Yeah whatever. I'll never give up until I reach my goal. And if I do get the game in the end, you guys owe me $100 each. Ha 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 Like that will never happen. That's a negative 0% chance it will happen. Maybe not now, but someday I will. In your dreams Levi Ackerman. We can't wait to see you as a laughing stock in the future. Welcome to IKEA. How may I help you? I want to buy a new vase I want to add to my living room please. Okay. That will be $725,638. What the heck? No. You're lying. That's not the correct price. It's very overwhelming. That is the price. Now pay up or you're not getting your vase. Make the price $400 instead. $50,000. $200. Six $3,000. $85. $1,200. $10. $400. Take it or leave it. Wait no. It's too late. Now you better give me what I want. Here. Just take it and leave. Don't even try to pay. Welcome to IKEA. How may I help you? Hello there. Do you know if this place has any magnetic stun guns I can find? We don't sell stun guns here. Have you been taking acids you stupid fox? First of all, don't call me stupid. Second, I don't take acids or drugs at all. Third, there's a sign that says you have magnetic stun guns on sale, so you do have them. Yup. You've definitely been taking acids. I just said I don't. Maybe I should have told you that I have a friend who's magic and is from heaven, so he sent me to do it. I had to bring his daughter with me for babysitting. Magic? Heaven? Cool. Tell him to use his magic to give me a copy of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. You really think I'd ask him to do that, after you say I take too much acids, and call me stupid? No way. Plus, it would be illegal for him to do that here anyway. Well, screw you right up the ass faggot. Hey! Watch that mouth of yours! I have a kid with me you know! Oh thanks! You gave me an idea! Hey girl with the red bow! Listen to me here! Um, I'm listening clearly. I want you to say this sentence. Repeat after me. My father is a cunt, faggot, and a fat ass who's a complete little wench. What the heck? No! She's not saying those words. Stop using curse words right now. Are you seriously crazy? My father is a cunt, faggot, and a fat ass who's a complete little wench. <laughs> I can't believe you just taught my friend's daughter those bad words. That's so it. We're going to Happy Tree Town's weapon shop instead. And after that, I'm going to Snower's house so I can tell him that Zoe picked up dirty words from you. Goodbye, you bad influence. Those words were fun Nikki. Can I say them to dad when I get home? No Zoe. You weren't supposed to say those words. That guy was just trying to spawn a devil on you. Welcome to. Hey Green Trunko. It's been a while hasn't it? Of course, it has. You work here too? Last time we saw each other I think was at a ice cream place. Yeah, sadly I got fired, but no matter. So, 
How may I help you? I'm not here to get anything. I'm trying to find a place to hide. And why is that? Green Trunko. There you are. I'm going to choke you to death for what you did to me in our recent movie. Oh crap. It's my good clone. Trunko. He's like the purple version of me. Purple? Wait. I know him. He was a customer back when I had a job at E-Trade Post. And from what I heard, he must be angry about what you did in the Evil Empire movie. You got that right. And he's stopping at nothing to catch me, so I've got to get out of here before. Oh shit he's running like 88 miles per hour by a Levi. Green Trunko. Come back here with your sorry ass. Don't you freaking run away from me. Levi Ackerman. How dare you be rude to the customers. I cannot tolerate this kind of behavior. That's it. You're fired. But Rare Yellow what be, what about Green Trunko? I never did anything to him. You're right. But you need to be nice to every customer. Not just Green Trunko. And for some reason I made a teaser at GameStop. Now get out of this place, or it won't be pretty.